are basically giving they basically gave another update today okay in a sea of updates and finally hey son i still like you even though you fell off it's great being niche take a week off right now dude take a fucking week off dude i don't give a fuck that you're a 13 month subscriber suck my cock there were 19 officers gathered in the hallway or, or somewhere what f someone is actually making a game about hassan the hunt wait what oh yeah this is yeah they are doing that this um Great vid on the cops being useless, kind of a lighter vid to start the day. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 no. It's one of the dumber things to do. I should never, ever explain my fucking way of thinking when I'm, uh, or why I'm uh, making content a particular way because everyone has their own opinions. And because they watch every day, they think like they know better than I do. And they're like, well, now it's time for me to tell you exactly what you're doing wrong and actually tell you what you should be doing instead. Um, and it's very frustrating. Bro, can you ask Josh why Hugo won't say defund the police? What is Hugo's plans for police budgets in LA? I heard he wants to fund the police more. Motherfucker, he doesn't say it because it is, unfortunately, according to the entire Democratic Party, they are the only ones who keep fucking repeating that it's like a bad slogan. Instead of describing what that fucking slogan is, it's dead. It's dead in the fucking water, okay? It's completely fucking dead. There was a time and place when the entire Democratic Party, alongside uh, the media, could have basically described what defund the police was, but they didn't do that. They immediately launched against it and said, look at how unpopular this is. It, no shit, it's unpopular. Black Lives Matter was unpopular when you fucking started, too. When Black Lives Matter first started, it was unpopular. I know because I was a b fucking staunch defender of it, and everyone would constantly, including Democrats, would constantly shit on me for it, okay? People don't remember this, and they probably fucking had a Berenstein's Bear moment on this. They think, like, Black Lives Matter was always fucking uh, a, a popular movement. It literally was not. Obama personally fucking criticized BLM. Like, you're crazy. Black Lives Matter, straight up, only became mainstream and popular when Trump opposed it. Because Democrats were like, okay, we should get on board with this now. Because Democrats are just as reactionary as the fucking Republicans are. Yeah. Do you want to know why Black Lives Matter became popular as a slogan? Because people were like, no, that means like, you know, all lives matter. But until black lives don't fuck it, black lives don't matter right now. All lives matter, certainly. But until fucking black lives matter, all lives don't matter because black lives are a part of all lives. People started describing it. People started explaining it. OK. And that is the reason why you now take for granted the, the popularity of the slogan so much so that it became a commoditized entity, as a matter of fact. So. You know, there's that as well here. Quarterings, only good take. Like, literally the only good take I've ever seen from this dude who fucking shits his pants and pisses in his basement. And, uh, you know, apparently there's some... The Pod Save America guys even opposed Kaepernick kneeling at first. Yeah, I remember that. I remember criticizing them for it, as a matter of fact. Okay. The one statement specified all children who were shot were shot by the shooter. The story on the SRO has gone from he engaged the shooter to he was chasing a teacher he thought was the shooter. Did he engage the teacher? Dude, 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 dude. There, let, me, let me tell you something, okay? We're going we're gonna to talk about cops real quick. Cops lie. Hello. Wake, uh, welcome to the real world, okay? Cops lie all the fucking time. They love lying. It's like their favorite thing. Um, they... They are, uh, you know, big, big fans of lying. Okay, they lie on the stand. They call it test the lying. They lie in the courts. They lie all the time. Uh, the other thing is that they lie to uh, get good uh, credit from the media. The media knows that they lie all the time. Uh, if you feel this way, why do you support Hugo instead of Albert Corrado in CD13, dude? I hate, I hate you. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, dude. I, I'm sorry. 
I prefer Hugo instead of Albert Corrado in CD13, okay? That's it. That's who I support. I'm sorry, I don't support. Like, I mean, it's not, I don't care. Go vote for the anarchist, dude. Go vote for the anarchist, okay? Vote for the anarchist. You're an anarchist, go vote for the anarchist. It doesn't matter, okay? Shut the fuck up, please. Jesus Christ, like, this dude is a fucking union organizer, like... Uh, I've had him on the goddamn uh, podcast. Like, he's very, he's good. I like him. It's just so frustrating. Like, why don't you, why don't you go for my uh, niche candidate that has a lower shot at fucking winning than the other candidate who's DSA backed and literally is a fucking union organizer uh, uh, that actually has a good shot at winning. Shut the fuck up. Stop being a spoiler for once in your fucking life, dude. I'm sorry. No disrespect to the other dude, but like, come on. Like, are you CIA? Is that what you're doing? Why do you always have to fucking subvert? Why do you always have to infiltrate? Why do you always have to fucking ruin everything? Why? Take a shower. Sit down. The election is not a, oh my god, this is my best one. This is, the election is a runoff. There are no spoilers. Top two candidates go to the runoff, bro. Dude, it's still splitting fucking votes, dude. It, what are you saying? Look, you're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. Albert was in the race for six months before Hugo. How is he the spoiler? Okay. It doesn't matter who is uh, who's in the race. What matters in this circumstance, if both candidates are actually genuinely fucking leftists, what matters in the circumstance is who is more electable, okay? And you are in here. Like, what, what purpose do you serve in here, you unwashed, unshowered, crusty-ass dickhead? What purpose do you serve when you come in here and I'm like fucking... I'm, I'm pushing for a DSA-backed leftist fucking candidate, and you're literally trying to fucking be like, yeah, he's actually bad, even though he is unironically uh, more electable than the other person in this situation. Why? What is wrong with you? Just don't vote. You're an anarchist. Why are you voting anyway? Like, straight up, why are you even voting? I don't understand. I thought, like, uh, you know, you were, you were engaging in direct action instead. Watch my videos on stream before, man. It doesn't matter. It's, it, you're, what you're doing is deeply frustrating right now. And also, I didn't watch that video. I, I saw you literally. I, I remember you now. You sent me this over and over again, and I purposely didn't watch it. He's about to turn into a right-wing psycho. No, he's not. He's an anarchist. Like, no, and the person, the dude is not even a bad dude. Like, he's actually not a bad person. Like, his worldview is not one that is, like, incredibly different than mine, okay? But there needs to be a semblance of organization when it comes to these sorts of things, okay? And, and, and anarchists are spoilers. I'm sorry. They always love fucking coming in and being like, actually, we should do point of privilege conversations. Actually, we should uh, not fucking clap because, you know, people have... Uh, you're not being like as accommodating to people as possible. That's some anarchist shit. It's literally in the CIA fucking textbook on how to infiltrate leftist movements and destroy them and subvert them. That is literally how the CIA used to operate. They don't even need to do anything now because we already are doing it ourselves. You've already fucking learned everything you needed to learn from Tumblr and that's what you constantly keep doing. You can't stop it, okay? I don't care. 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 This is not a bad person, by the way. I'm just saying. But like, but what you're doing is ultimately stupid. Bro, he's gonna take down the authoritarian structures from within, bro. It's definitely not a conflict for an anarchist to run for a seat, bro. I mean, no, like, why would it be a conflict for an anarchist to run for a seat? It wouldn't. I mean, they're they're trying to engage in in democracy personally. But what is frustrating to me is like you coming in here and and uh and and pushing this and then also like fucking yelling at me as though I'm doing the wrong thing in this circumstance by backing a different candidate and not your candidate, okay? Well, you sure gave that impression. I'm sorry, House. I think that was a bit too harsh. What? You didn't even hear anything. You don't even know what I'm talking about.
Like, do you think, do you think you're doing, you're serving the appropriate purpose? I want you to personally, I want you to personally, personally, please. He's wearing your merch too. What the fuck? Yeah. I want you to personally think long and hard. I want you to think about your, your decision here. When you are backing a candidate, you have to think to yourself, are there other, like, are there other candidates that are more likely? Are there other candidates that have union backing because they've been union organizers? Do they have the bona fides? Is there someone who is better suited for the position? Should my candidate that I like, that I uh, am closer to, okay, should that candidate go and, and run somewhere else, for example? Should we reposition? It is very frustrating that like we don't even have that many fucking good. We don't even have that many good people. And you have you're like running in and being like, no, even a leftist is not far left enough. I need someone that's even more leftist. You get shadow banned or do these viewers fluctuate? I thought you were about 50K the other day because no one gives a fuck about politics. Everyone gives a fuck about drama. Amber Heard shit is popping off. Go watch the top fucking uh, channels. Most people, and you have to understand this, most people on this platform operate on the basis of FOMO. That's why the platform is so top heavy. People don't want to miss out. They have a fear of missing out. That's why they go and they fucking watch whatever uh, streamer has like 100K fucking viewers. And if you have two streamers that have 100K, 200K viewers, the, everyone's going to go there. Yeah. I personally find it not only boring, but I've also said what I had to say about it numerous times over. I said I might actually like, uh, you know, give one last feedback, one last piece of coverage on it as is the last day, but I'm probably not even going to get to it. But that is what it is. Okay, so you about viewers thinking they know more than you. Sometimes some of us do our own research. We take what you know and apply our own knowledge and speak up in an open dialogue. We just share it with you. I mean, I've picked everything from political theory to your political takes all the way down to the top of the hour ad break. That's why we pay you five bucks a month or link their Amazon Prime account to their Twitch account. Okay, dude. Holy shit. Um, yeah, it, well, you, you got me. It sucks how people who are normal Hassan Ivy fans watching the court cases just the same thing over and over again. I mean, dude, yeah, it's I don't fault them for it, man. I'm sure people feel that way when like elections are happening and everyone's fucking watching me cover it. You know what I mean? Other streamers are probably like, oh fuck that. Why why are my fans not loyal enough to watch me play video games and they're like over here fucking watching this dickhead? You know what I mean?